we know that there are planets around neighboring stars that have uh, water, likely, um, and deep water, so there's likely life elsewhere. The question of whether they can communicate with us is a whole different question than if life exists, which it likely does. You know, when I was growing up, I was a child of the Star Trek generation, Carl Sagan, uh, in which, uh, you know, we believe there were billions upon billions of intelligent civilizations in our galaxy alone based on the numbers of stars. Now, even the optimists at the SETI Institute would probably say that the upper limit on the number n, uh, the solution to the Drake's equation, would be hundreds of thousands, maybe tens of thousands, and that a, a very realistic possible number would be one or a handful. Definitely we think of life as fundamentally something that's able to replicate itself. It's going to be using things in its environment to piece together to make new copies of itself, which means that there's going to be some sort of environmental stress as the copies get more and more, so there's going to be some selection. So we imagine that there will be, I would guess, there would be evolution going on in any type of life form that we see, but how that acts is who knows. Simple life is probably extremely common. And keep in mind that on our own planet, the, the story of life, the history of life in this planet is mostly the story of microbes, that complex organisms are really only the last sort of chapter in that very long story. And complex intelligent organisms like us are literally the last you know, sentence or word or punctuation mark in that story. And so if there's only one intelligent civilization per galaxy, that still means maybe several trillion intelligent civilizations in the known observable universe. Any lens we're looking at for trying to evaluate what life would look like is through our own experience, which is exactly one sample set. So it's very hard to imagine. I've often asked myself what, you know, what would aliens really look like? And the answer that I always come up with is that they will absolutely not look like anything that we have ever seen depicted uh, in any science fiction or fantasy. Yeah.